that's you for adorable back here with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where we're exploring this island up here. There is a capsule toy machine that I want to engage with there. I want my Happy Meal toy. We're going to see if there's a shrine to be found up here, because I sort of imagine there is with the, how built up it is. And then we're going to head to the shrine that's down there, and then the tower that's down there, and then we're just going to head southeast, see if we can get all the way to the bottom right corner of the map. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this thing here, this is, this is like a piston that's launching stuff and you could turn it around right okay i want to head down here and see what kind of devices this thing drops though and i haven't as yet been using too many of the uh supercharge zonai charges although they're probably gonna be useful way later when i have like a really massive device that i want to power for an extended period of time so i'll just throw in five of these yep and at some point, we'll be able to extend our max battery anyway with all the crystallized charges we were finding and stuff. Speaking of which, we should periodically go back to the Sky Islands and see about grabbing some more of those. These look interesting. Uh, trading in some Zonite for some more of those, uh, the, the, the crystallized charges that you can use to extend your max. Nevertheless, balloon, cart, oh, lovely. It's a nice, it's own little, like, oh, apply force to get it moving so long as it has a power source. So you mean to say that this thing will roll itself forward? Anyway, it's a nice platform kind of shape, which is cool. Stabilizer, right? We already know what these are. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. Ah, oh, I haven't even thought about using it for that. And a construct head. This is new. A zona device that always faces whatever it deems an enemy. Attach a combat zona device for the, to the head for homing attacks. Oh, oh my. Hydrant, a zona device that gushes water when struck. According to legend, Sky Islands saw the water shortages long ago, but became lush and fertile thanks to this technology. <laughs> yeah, they just made water really incredible. I think I, I, I was wondering how uh, people got to make, like, I've seen people do, like, little car washing stations for horses in this game. And I was like, ah, with what? <laughs> but there you go, with, with hydrants. So that over there is just one of those nice little uh, islands that usually has some like fairies and stuff on it. So I don't believe the if there's a shrine around here that it'll be there. I don't know for a fact that there is a shrine here. It just seems like there would be. That island up there looks like a, a prime spot for a Korok, doesn't it? Just lonely and out of the way, but definitely noteworthy when you're glancing around. If I wander around for a bit and don't find- Oh no, we even- Sorry, I'm, I'm dumb. We, we started from that thing there where we <laughs> found out that that one needed a crystal and it wants it from over there. So I guess we're gonna want to turn this piston over there and get ourselves gone to there, aren't we? Uh, uh, what is up over there? It's a bunch of zonite? Just like in a chunk over there? Interesting. Uh, sorry. Uh, looks like this uh, crystal is low down on that island there somewhere. I'm gonna go sort of launch myself to the side. Oh, that really didn't- uh, bring me the direction I was sort of hoping for. Maybe we should have done that with like a glider or something. Wait, but, but hold on, wait, no, but I, yeah. Okay, uh, what do we do now? Find something to ascend up through, I suppose. Should have just enough to stamina to get up on this chunk of rock here. <gasps> Why would you jump up that way, Link? That is, I said up and left. Okay, it's fine, we can still. Uh, ascend, any luck here, do you think? There should be a little spot we can do it. <gasps> Right back here. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Just what I was hoping for. Interesting. These look like those roots that we were able to cut um, off of um, where we were first uh, locked in. Oh, that is exactly the way they work. My God, you cut them in a really big way. <laughs> I was just curious if that was that. Ah, oh, there's the crystal. I see what's going on here. They've given a, there's a, there are a bunch of fans here and a, a steering wheel here. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. This cart is going to be... Okay. I think I see what's going on here. Does this thing have a direction to it? I think maybe not. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. Indubitably. Hey, yeah! Oh, you have to do it. It has to be a bladed thing. I'll do it with this 8-pole blade, even though I'd rather uh, save as, its durability as much as possible. Oh, here goes nothing. Oh, it's heavy too. It's gonna weigh this thing down. I I think maybe this needs more fans than they've provided us. Oh, can you even ultra hand this crystal? Oh, sure you can. Right. Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision to add a few more fans than they've uh, elected to give us here. I'm gonna add two on top of the ones that are already facing down, or more like uh, sticking off the side. So we get even more downward air flow, making us go upward more, ideally. And then I'll put even two on the back to make it have some degree of moving forward at the same time. 
this will be the first time I've actually made a, a flying device that worked if, if this goes well. Um, so fingers crossed. And we should absolutely have saved before I put the- Oh, there's even a wing right here. Uh, we don't need it. <laughs> We've made the biplane of the century. See you in hell, kid! Woo! <laughs> it's working! It is alive! I should have brought the other battery. Oh my god, that battery did not last even the slightest bit of time. It's fine. It's alive! Okay. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. That's right. It's This is a perfectly... F oh, it's not gonna be enough. We need more fans desperately. No, it's, it's, it's... Never say never! Never say die! It's fine! It's not gonna... This is a problem. <gasps> Crash landing! Uh, emergency landing onto this thing. Here. Yes, this is the perfect thing. Okay. We tried something. It worked somewhat well. It did not work I, as the way you see we exactly wanted. But, okay. Uh, now, stop. No, go again. Okay. Perfect. Uh, this plane served its purpose exactly, and it's fine. I'm just gonna stick the crystal to one of these and then uh, leapfrog them as we've been doing before. Let go of that rocket. When in doubt, leapfrog these big anti-gravity platforms. Wonder if you ever get these on my capsules with these things in them. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Yay! Rao, you've got so many blessings. I appreciate that. That's a lovely number of blessings that you have. <laughs> Mighty Zonite Shield! Ooh! That one we actually probably do want, because not only is it really good and... Oh, cool looking. It's much better than the ones uh, we have on hand. Uh, very well, that's fine. We can just, uh, this, uh, nice one here, we don't have to get rid of it. Uh, we can just take the halberd off of it and then, uh, fuse it to the end of this. I know it reacts better with, uh, other Zonite devices, but this is, this'll be well fine enough, I think. Thanks, Raru! Your pal! And your heart! You know, one of the things I really like about this game, um, is, uh, the way this Lookout Landing Town is, like, a very good central homestead. It's got a little shop for arrows and, and just a bit of food and armor. Hestu hangs out there. You can turn in the Wells quest there. Poor is there, obviously. Robbie and his upgrades are, well, I mean, we need to go to the lab for some of them, but, like, a lot of the, the, the important main quests you get from there. Did I mention Hestu was there already? Oh, no, and there's a goddess statue. I think I did mention Hestu, but I didn't mention the goddess statue there. The point is, there's a lot of stuff you can turn in and do there, so it, can, it, it really it makes a good central hub, so you don't have to be like, I teleport over here to get my upgrades, and I teleport over there to get Hestu's upgrades, blah, blah, blah. Very good. Um, I would be uh, comfortable in assuming that that's mostly what's up on this uh, uh, island here, though, that said, I will just check up this little plateau part here to see if there is a Korok seed hanging around the side anywhere, because this would be just the spot they'd hide a little rock around a nook and or cranny. Right, I'm probably good to head out of this place. And that other shrine we marked was uh, way over here. Oh, this island actually was really close to this mountain here. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm about to slam the mountainside, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> In short, yes. Oh, you can hear the rain pattering onto my uh, my uh, my glider. That's so cool. I, did, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Was that in Breath of the Wild too? I do not recall. Nevertheless, I love these rocks that have a little bit of like sort of brownish grass growing on them because it almost looks like a hollowed out tree trunk as a result. Uh, I'm hardly ignoring that. Oh, there's another shrine way in the distance there and this is all Farron region. We might have to head to the south to that one as well because that is sort of the direction we want it to be heading. I said we go here to that tower and then uh, to that sh shrine way over the south there, which is where? I just saw it. Yes. You. We'll have to check, might have to check through some uh, Rainforest to get to it, but when's that ever stopped us? I mean, it, it stopped us a lot in <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Jukom Shrine! In we get! I can't wait to see what it is! <laughs> Front flip for flair. You know how it is. I would like it if it was... Um, I, I mean, I'm gonna like it regardless, because they're all great. But um, those, uh, those um, anime hordes where they... Uh, Strip you of all your gear, and they're just like stealth around and make your own new weapons and stuff like that. Are so much fun. They're like little mini Eventide Islands, but better because they have the fuse in this game, which ups their survival aspect a whole bunch. Build for rails, you say? So I imagine that. uh... Right. Well, you know what? <laughs> I laugh in the face of adversity. I've always wanted to be a tightrope climber. I'm already a clown. It's probably a bad sign that I called it a tightrope climber because I don't believe that's <laughs> really accurate. Let's go turn the camera a little hint. Yeah, it's as easy as that, folks. So easy that I'll even feel comfortable doing a sprint. I'm gliding to the left just a bit. <gasps> that was too much, like, oh, no, no. It's fine. No. 
it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Why can't I go? Yeah. <laughs> no, we can get out to the top of the. <laughs> This should be very easy. All I have to do is line it up just perfectly once. How hard is perfection? Oh, this should be easier if I just uh, use the scope to see how lined up I am. Right, and then we turn it so that it's just like just barely looking at the end, and then just walk forward. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, that's perfect, that's perfect, that's perfect. Go, 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 go. It's fine. Dibba 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 dibba. Puzzle solved, baby. Oh my god. Uh, well, I guess I'm on this rail. Uh, there's treasure there, though. Uh, if these are horizontal, can you climb them? No. So I need to make a ramp. Like so. And it's this, this, these rails are sturdy enough, so I can even just do it like this, right? I think so. And all I have to do is walk along them, which we are experts at doing by now, so I don't know why I was even ever worried for a second about that. A sticky elixir! Marvelous! I knew this was a, a status effect you could get in this game. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure still um, quite how much uh, it is useful. Grants a mid-level soul possessions to keep you from something on wet surfaces. It's highly absorbed, uh, absorptive ingredient, ingredients that make it a must-have for sudden rainfalls. So, since it's graded, I have to assume that means you still do slip, just not nearly as frequently or something like that. Right, he keeps respawning this uh, back here, so I suppose we can ride this one along and that's more or less free. And as for these other ones, um, we're going to have fun walking up them. And definitely not making a device that would go along the rails, because that sounds boring as hell. And I will never do it. You can't... Oh, I do see the problem with this. You would want, like, a fin on the bottom of this thing, so that it would, uh, it would, it would, uh, try and stay in the middle, basically. Or... Hear me out. We could just try and die like that. Yeah! All right, since this thing's gonna push us off if I try and go slow and careful, I may as well uh, make a better one that has a fin going off the bottom so it stays on the rail. But for out there, I wanna try and do it by walking along it even though it's all twisty and turny. I didn't really mean to put it in the back, but that sh should, should work anyway. Something like that, uh, and then it goes like that, and the fin should keep it more or less going the right way, right? It might actually get lodged in certain points, depending on how the way this is shaped. Ah, seems to be well going well enough. Five out of five, my ride was pleasant, and the in-flight in snacks were lovely. And they want us to reuse that device, but this time with a fan, but I refuse. Personally. There are two sets of tracks here. Does one of them just go to nowhere, maybe? Yes, it seems that one of the... Oh, no, they both... Go in a sort of a weird way, I see. So there's going to be some parkour involved in this. It might be easier if we squat, won't it? Might not it? Or might be not. It's funny, this music sounds almost like it could be a, a cave theme from Pikmin 4. It's very... The, the Pikmin 4 cave themes are much more sort of... A little less moody than the Pikmin 1 and 2, which I'm going to talk about in that playthrough at some point. And a little more, like, kind of vibey like this, if you see what I mean. Although this has this has mood to it as well. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be so dismissive of its mood. This is actually easier with a curved rail, somehow. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay. I probably should have taken the left track because then I could have just walked onto the other one without having to pull a jump like I'm about to have to. Right. I'm not using no stinking device. Wait, what if I just put three fans together <laughs> to go along the rails? That would almost be funnier than walking. What? I'm on the wrong rail. <laughs> I can still make the jump. I know what I must do. Back. Everyone be calm. Why didn't he move? <laughs> he just turned to the right and fell. All right, fine. I think I probably could have done the same thing there where I just sort of walk over and then mounted this one like that, but it, it, he just, it, for, I, I just held right and he didn't move at all. So I was trying to be funny. I'll never do that again. Now let's make this perfectly serious device to go on the rails. Uh, Link, if you would mount the, the, the transportation device, please. Oh, I see the problem here. There, now we have a place to stand. Uh, stay on the rails, if you would. Oh, I had it backwards. Why does it keep drifting this way? Just start! Serious transportation device. Go! Give me that arrow back. Okay, now stay- Whoa! No, wait, come back! Uh, 
shit. No, don't fall off the back. Oh. Okay, go thing, go. And be bright while you do it. Yes. Yes, absolutely. The upward turning fans allow it to keep, uh, maintain a constant position with, okay, now stop. No, wait, you have to stop now. Stop now, stop now. Oh, fine. We'll do it the silly way. Red reasonable. Oh, there are a bunch of planks over here anyway. <laughs> Try something like this, maybe? I imagine this is sort of what they want you to go for. Look at all the bright blooms you'd stuck to this thing. This might not be enough to lift the stone when it's not on the rails, though. As it isn't, because I have it sort of propped up. I think they probably want you to do it like fins, like put a fin on each one like we did with the first one, but let's try this. Yes, it'll need to it'll need to go a little farther out. Now get on it! Hey, there we go. And when it gets in there, that middle fin is going to slide into that middle thing perfectly, for sure. And, oh my god, it actually worked! How is this possible? <laughs> Artistry, engineering, and... Oh. Okay, this fin's going to have to go. Oh no, that's going to make it horribly imbalanced. Uh... Okay. I... No, no one will say that this is a perfect device. Okay. Uh... The, the trick is... The trick is... The trick is with this thing. Please tell me it fell off so I can rebuild it. Thank goodness. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it the way they want. I tried th like three or four different strategies to be fun, but uh, it's too bad this game railroads you at every opportunity. Otherwise, it would have been a real game of the year material. I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> Let's just stack all the fans on top of each other. Ah, well, this is much easier. <laughs> Even if it's not a, the perf a perfect ride, it's uh, it's still working <laughs> as intended. Finally, I thought I could have my own little flare and have the fins on the side be sort of curved out, but uh, it was a, a bad move, really, <laughs> on all accounts. Ah, just taking that first-person sights. Look at the view from up here. My, my. It looks like there are statues down there. They blinked at us. How fun is that? Blech. Gonna make your stomach drop. Thanks, device. Right, I spent way more time on that than I care to admit. Oh my god, the episode's almost over because of that. Uh, let's cut all of that out, thanks. Yay! Yeah. It's 11 hearts we got now or so? Yeah, it looks that way. Look at this river down here. Looks like it's like a, a worm coming to eat something. Right, tower then southeast. Oh no, tower then to that shrine and then we'll call that shrine the end to go up for this episode. But since this tower's right here and all. I mean, we, we may get there and find it's a shrine quest that we need. We'll take some time to do later, but. Oh, there's a cork needs help here. You need to reach your friend. You have a friend? Unheard of. Ah, right over that hill. That shouldn't be too bad. It is a bit rainy here, but we should be able to figure something out. There are a lot of wheels here. Do they want us to make like a monster truck? Would it be impossible to just carry them over the hills? Uh, which way was that again? Oh, okay. Past this giant mountain. <laughs> this is a massive sight line. Sorry, could you show me again? Oh, oh no, I see now. Oh, interesting. There's a boulder down here. You would think this would be... Putting a boulder down here would be cause for a Korok, but... Is that where one of those puzzles was in Breath of the Wild? And that's why there's a boulder there now? That would be really cool, so... Or maybe they just want you to use it to attack this base here. <laughs> I don't want any trouble, I'm just passing through. Yes, this does look like it will be difficult to walk. Can you use recall on the cork? I'm actually not sure. Uh, yes, you can. Oh, it's not, it's not that sh uh, steep. At the moment, anyway. Oh, it's about to get steep. Oh, it's about to get real steep. Uh, go as far as you can and then... Uh... Sorry! I'll recall you there, and I'll catch you in a moment. Oh, it was much gentler over here. We should have gone here, Korok. Uh, wait. Stop. Come back. Oh, boy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh. No, no. I'll hand them. Come, Link. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, shit. I was so close. I almost lost them for good. Okay, right here is nice and gentle, the slope. Wait, no, no, it was over this way. Uh, okay, stop there. No, okay, actually, just fall down for a little bit, and then, sorry. While you're tumbling down the hill there, give me a chance to climb up. Oh my god. I'm gonna slip here, it's fine. Nope. Stop now. But then, why won't let me turn the camera? Now. <laughs> go back up there. Now, uh, when you fall right here, I'm gonna go yoink, and let's carry on. Easy as. Sorry, this is a horrible journey for you. Okay, it looks a little gentler over here. Please don't let me slip, please don't let me slip, please don't let me slip. Okay. It's just grass here. We can walk this, probably. Nice grassy hill. No stress whatsoever. We've got to be close to your friend by now, but I can't turn the camera off to look really well. 
Uh, where's that front of yours again? Right here. Perfection. There you go. <laughs> Reunited at last. <laughs> Have fun, you two. I do want whatever this person has in their pocket, though, just because. It, uh, do I really that? No, I'm just gonna steal what's in their chest and then bolt. Falling is a silent action. Chest. You link. Yeah, don't make any noise, Link. It's fine. <laughs> Very good. We needed one. Uh, is backflipping a silent action? <laughs> nope. It, sh it really isn't. Well, that's fine. They won't know anything. Now, as for this tower, I I'm definitely going to focus on this tower for the moment. Poplar Foothills Skyview Tower. Poplar Foothills. Why does that remind me of something from another Zelda? It feels like it. It, it, it feels like it could be a reference, but I I'm not sure what it is. I want just I wanted to look at what is this over here? Oh, it's just a burnt out like tree trunk or something. Cool. We'll investigate that sometime, probably. <laughs> is the passage an indication? Oh, there's a well here. I know someone will be pleased about that. Whee! Popple Foothills North Well. I shouldn't have done gone down here so willy nilly, but I am here now. It is me the one who is here. Boulder is interesting. Let's just have a look and see what is over here. Um anyone here, please. Don't worry, there's someone here, alright. Though you're gonna, you're gonna wish there wasn't, because I'm gonna make a mess of this, probably. Yoink! I meant y yoink! There we go. You're free! Why won't this work? That's Oh, there's like a tiny rock in the way I see. <laughs> Hello? I'm taking your bomb, whoever you are. Oh dear, people are imprisoned here. In a really big way. Hey, hey! You! What are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm in a hurry, sorry. I set off a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. That pressure plate? Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. Right, it looks like it goes to the entrance over there, right? There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. Very good. Um, I'll send up through here. <laughs> and if we go forward, we should just find that cave entrance. Should be just right over this lip here, shouldn't it? In the middle of this clearing. Look at that, another well. Here's the other cave entrance, but I want to investigate this well first. Hello, Bloopy. How are you? <laughs> mushroom. Ooh, do we have a picture of this kind of mushroom yet? Yes, yeah, we meant. Well, I found one in the Grudo stall. Pop of what else? South well. Wait! I'll, I'll set rescue in a minute. I just want to track all the wells that I can give them to a friend of mine. Give them, you know, give their locations to a friend of mine. What could be around this little bend here? Ooh, barrels! Out of bond. Ooh, and a research bench of some kind. Was that a bird's call down here? What have we here? Note on the table, the ro uh, road of a Gourmand is fraught with thorns. That's why I choose to travel alone. But this life does have a cheer of lonely nights. That's when you needed to shine a light to keep darkness at bay. You've newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange uh, effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cut with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did after my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimented to do. There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight, Chef Ori Tamu, the lonely cook. Very sad indeed is the life of someone who identifies themselves as lonely via their title. But here's the actual cave entrance. Sorry, I wasn't doing anything unimportant. It was all necessary stuff that I was doing. Oh, and there's more stuff going on here. Interesting. Ah, well, I can ultra hand stuff, right? So can I just put the, the chest onto this pressure plate? <laughs> Science. Whee! Now come over here. I might be able to use it for something else. Oh, okay, never mind. Look at all the mushrooms. We're gonna get uh, a, a tidy sum from them at some point. You're free! <laughs> Thank you! I knew you'd rescue me, Elmerson. <laughs> I don't have much, but um, please take this. Are you one of the construction crew from Breath of the Wild that I'll have sun in the end? Thank you so much. I was broke as heck. That is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. Ah, we wouldn't have been able to even do the tower without you. Is that the idea? Fun. <laughs> Speaking of the tower. Hello again. Hey. Hello there, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in Jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. I probably caused trouble with my friends at the construction company, so I'm gonna get moving as soon as I calm down. <laughs> they are, because they've got sun at the end. They are part of the construction company. Thanks for your work anyway. I imagined it. Uh, um, I, I had a, a, some idea that since this was a quest so close by, perhaps it was already broken. 
Fun that we solved it anyway. Take me, Pora's arms. Yahoo! Oh my god, we can head right over to that thunderstorm. Uh, Sky and Archipelago there. Skinny, 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 skinny. My earrings are flapping around in the wind. <laughs> oh, it's a huge chunk of the map. This whole southern area with like Hylia and the Farron uh, wetland, uh, uh, rainforest and all. Swanky. And there's a big stormy <laughs> bit of the sky. I'm Not that I'm not curious to go up there and see what that is, but uh, it, it was not a part of the breadth of this episode. Perhaps that'll be something we do next episode. Although I do also want to head to even tide, as I keep saying. I love all the little, like, uh, natural, weird oddities that are going around in the in this game. Like thunderstorm, clouds, in a swirl, maelstroms and stuff. It's really cool. Right, uh, let's stop here for a moment. This is the shrine that I just marked. We can get one on either side of the, uh, the, the rainforest here, which is pretty cool. It's weird how th the rainforest is actually a really small area, but whenever you're in there, it feels huge because it's tough to get around. Uh, southward ho for us, I guess. We're gonna be sailing right over the rainforest for a whole bunch of this. Ah, I see the shrine that we marked way over there. It's actually a lot farther than I thought, so I should be doing a bit of glide here. And that there is that little, like, the, the Dracosium ruins or whatever they're called. You find some of the Breath of the Wild DLC in that place. I believe it's Ravio's Hood you find there. I really like the way the DLC just sprinkled a bunch of treasures in the open world and you can just walk there and find them. It felt it felt very clean and paired back and like just what I want from a DLC, the the DLC the way the DLC armors were implemented. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my stamina. That's fine. All oh, right, I can still glide even with no stamina, so I can uh, make my way over here. There we good. We're still skirting the outside of the uh, rainforest. We don't have to go down there just yet, which is nice. I like to save going down there for when we have a lot more of everything, because they are tough places to get. I might even not have to ascend up through here. I can just glide to this one. Sweet. What is this? A chunk. Another one of these large ones. Nice. Did we learn that they give they give five zonic devices when you put them in the capsule toy dispenser? That may be. Oh, look at this little pretty area where the river sort of borders the the rainforest and the not rainforest biome. So lovely. And there are a whole bunch of those like stone towers over there as well. Probably have some treasure chests on a few of them. And a bloopy down there. This is just a lovely sightseeing tour all around. God, more enemy camps. It's nice that with ascend these ones are become much less impenetrable in this game. Although this this one has a ramp. <laughs> But getting up to them was was uh, always a bit tough in Breath of the Wild. Although I kind of liked it. Because when you finally got up there, it was like, Thank God I can finally just fight these things hand to hand. And oh, there's a Thunder Hydra over there, is there? Or a Gleok, they're not called Hydras. Yes, and it's big enough that I can even take a picture from here. Perfect. This three-headed monster first appeared after the upheaval. Fighting alone is inadvisable as the three heads will attack you all at once. When someone sets foot upon its surface, the beast will unleash a salvo of lightning strikes, not letting up until the intruder is reduced to a pile of ashes. Very well, that's not our objective for the moment. Oh, there's a sacred tree there, so I guess we could get another um, uh, vision from Satori of where all the nearby caves are. That would be fun. Oh, there's a shrine up there as well. Maybe I have to mark that one for next time. Because this shrine is going to be the last thing we do this episode. Ah, oh, yeah, so we should mark that. We're using a lot of pins, but we're getting them back every few seconds because we're, we're uh, traveling to our destinations rather quickly these past few episodes. Utsushak Shrine! Well, there's a stable right there, too. Perhaps we should just go get it marked on the map. Otherwise, I'll forget that that's what, what's beside this place. And I'll drop down into the well while we're here just so I can have it marked. Yahoo! Splish, splash. Okay, fine. Now that we're down here, let's, let's just smash through a bit of this. I gotta see now. Oh, these are red ones. They're a little tougher to smash through. It would seem. And down here is ooh, some bombs, some bright bloom seeds, a, a shock like. Oh, this is getting more interesting. Okay, I'll just explore bravely down here. Then we'll go back up and do that trial. All right, I gotta dodge this stuff first, and then it's uh, we. I can take a. Uh, really, I should be waiting, saving this for someone I could flurry rush. But whatever. Uh, no, let's use this uh, other talus. Oh, you're not gonna come down here for to open your recoil. I have to do this. Wait, hang on. I was trying to do a spinny so that I can hit you with a, that as, at the same time like that, but it didn't work so well. Right, very well. I'll swap to this so I can uh, do my flurry rush with you. Get my extra damage. Hayonk! Hayonk! Two will do you. Improved flurry damage for the win. Now it's for you. No, that I can't flurry that. Stop doing that. Do something else. Do the one I can flurry, please. Come on. There we go. All right, now do it, but don't let me be an idiot and miss. Stop doing that one. Just do the one I can flurry. <laughs> See, this one knows what's up. Okay, fine. That, I can flurry that as well. well I, I'm not going to, but... Oh, I gotta swap off this mirror shield. I'm gonna lose it. There we go. Fine. Finally. <laughs> yonk. Yonk. Now you. You broke this thing. Nice going. S stop doing that one. <laughs> fine. If you're gonna lose your weapon, <laughs> I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> Where's my durability? Got a whole bunch more uh, weapons uh, off this, though. And this one I just took out, uh, dropped a chest, which in it has... Another eight-fold long blade. 
Oh no, sorry. This, this is not the same thing as the uh, the, the stealth weapon, which is the eightfold blade. When wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Uh, what does it mean by a proficient fighter? I'm not sure. But sure, we'll grab that. Oh, in fact, I should uh, photograph it. There we go. Thankfully, we have all those new arrows. And weak point, show yourself now. And now we go, uh, is this the right melee weapon I have on here? Uh, now let's use, um, back to this one. Hey, ah, oh, you're in the water. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yonk, 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 yonk. There we go. <laughs> I almost flubbed that in a big way. Very good. Shock like stone, and where did that chest end up? Wait, it did drop a chest just now, right? Did I miss? Oh, it's in the water here. Got a clunk? All kinds of little, uh, small weapons here as well. Ah, sweet. A big attack up Eightfold Blade. I almost have too many of those now. <laughs> Screw it, you can never have too many of those. Let's just put uh, um, a Gibdo bone on each. They're, they're all kind of stored at the same. This is the stealth weapon section. And anything that uh, doesn't have a weapon on it, let's just put a rock on it. Uh, just so we can have another uh, rock bludgeony kind of thing if we run out of, especially as this one's got extra durability on it. Oh, does it lose its property when it's not got a um, a weapon on it? Maybe that's what it means by, by when wielded by a proficient fighter. Six rocks on all of them. We've got about a few more rock uh, smashy type dues. A surplus, in fact. Which are perfect for these sort of things. Oh, and a soldier's bravo sword was around there. As well as this long stick here. Okay, very good. Uh, we're already full of weapons. Um, I'll stick the long stick to the end of the broadsword. The, uh, no. Bad move. Uh, let's just stick a moblin horn onto the end of this soldier's broadsword here. Make it a nice, decent moblin hammer. But we ideally want to be getting rid of these rock things because we don't actually need this many. Okay, hang on. Actually, let me, let me just verify this because there are rocks all around. So if I swing here, there's no wind. But if I remove this, then... Ah, uh, okay, so it only does wind so long as you, uh... Oh, he throws it in this game! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think in Breath of the Wild, if you did that with this one weapon, it would just, uh... It would just slice it in that direction. Very good, so it loses the wind thing if you put a rock on it, so I'll not do that for now. Truffle! Lummy. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy to have this extra weapon, uh... Pocket. These five extra weapon pockets. I mean, I'm already so happy. Oh, this cave does not stop, actually. I shouldn't have jumped down here. This is a massive undertaking. Look at all this stuff down here. Chest down here. Where it appears there was an ancient blade, an ancient dagger-like blade. It's too small to wield as a weapon, but can be used as an arrowhead. Oh, to make ancient arrows, you mean? Basically. Super cool. But you could also fuse it to a weapon? I, I better not try, since I only have one. <laughs> Maybe when we have a few more, I'll, I'll worry about that. And since we've got so many rock things, I'm fine to use a whole bunch of them on this stuff. Soldier's Claymore here. <laughs> a bunch of gels, uh, choo just uh, popped into the ground. Fine, I'll smash them with my rock sledge, since we've got tons of these kinds of weapons. Back you! 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 Ow! I could dodge that if I were better. And press the dodge button at the right time, because you can, even when you're doing one of these things, you can dodge out of the way with it. Oh, I hit the, the way high ceiling, did I? That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> we ain't done here yet. Go back down. So one last little hole to explore here. Although it might split off into several more, because this place is huge. Oh, that was going to be a nice small adventure, but can't stop now. Oh, there's a monstro there. You know what time it is. I mean, probably since this is only a, a tier two one, we could... Take it down with a, with a headshot. But this is what these weapons are for after all. Nah, screw it. We've got a hundred whole million arrows. Just headshot it. Pew! Oh, it wasn't enough. I should have done the stealth attack. Oh, but it fell in the water and drowned. So that's good. Ooh, there's some fish we don't have there. Mighty Porgy! And is it an armored carp? I suppose the roasted uh, Porgy... Yeah, it's armored Porgy. Roasted Porgy counts as a separate re uh, recipe from roasted bass. So we should do that at some point to fill out our book. Was that the only uh, monster that was right here? Nope. We, okay, we know that... Um, I mean, I guess if we headshot them off the cliff, then they'll, they'll die anyway, but... May as well do the stealth attack since we have this thing. Oh, that was the water that I fell into. Look at all the lizards flying around <laughs> the distance. Can you stealth attack someone from the front if they are sleeping? Yes, you can! <laughs> Bob the Builder. And as expected, that broke the bone off immediately, but we have uh, several from our time in the Gerudo Desert, so let's just attach another one every immediately. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Wait, you're still- in I'm still in stealth? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they went for their weapon immediately, so they didn't even see me. <laughs> I counted it still being in stealth. It's amazing. A knight's broadsword! Sweet. Um, uh, yeah, sure, let's drop one of our silly sledges for that. Since we have a surplus. And why not? Grab a Captain Construct Horn onto that thing. 
Let's make a, a semi-decent... Uh, oh, Night Soldier 3 Reaper is what it's called. Sweet. Any more problems I'm just, like, blatantly missing here? No, it doesn't seem so. Not yet, anyway. God, this place is huge! I should not have gone down here. We should, should never have come, come here. Away with you. Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Away with you, but from over here. Thanks. I can go for some roasted bass on that. And some, uh, whatever this is. <laughs> now, these past few episodes, we've also done an excellent job of gathering a whole bunch more resources. Mushrooms and stuff. We were, uh, in this game so far, we've been having some a somewhat pitiable number. And I am not feeling that way anymore. Ah, some more things to use these rock things on. Delightful. Don't know why the lizard's walking my way, but there it goes. Spin attack. Spin attack. Mushroom. There we go. A way through. Oh, wow. It goes all the way out to the beach here. God, how far did we go? Como Shoreline Cave. Goodness me. Well, that's super cool. Man, just look at this place. I love these little coral reefs they have in this game in Breath of the Wild. They are just gorgeous. Now, in Breath of the Wild, there are a lot of chests hidden about these reefs, just sort of in the water. I wonder if that's the case here. But we should be getting back to that shrine. <laughs> now I don't see any chests. Right, back to that shrine. It sure felt like we went a long way, and that's why, because we sure as heck did. Oh, this place is just gorgeous. Imagine being here. Oh, just wading among the, the long grass. In this little pond near the ocean. Oh, it would just be so lush. It's crazy how these games are like medieval adventure games, but they always do like ocean and beaches right. Oh my, oh my, did a uh, shooting star fall over there? I mean, think about the Great Bay of Majora's Mask, all of the Wind Waker's beaches, Twilight Princess Lake, uh, Lake Hylia, this game in Breath of the Wild's beaches, that just, they always do like shores really well. What is that? Oh, they're horses. Right, Trine, that was a nice hit to the beach, because that's probably where we're going to be hanging out for the next few episodes, were I to guess, but as we sort of co uh, coast along the coast and get this shrine while we're at it. But you were the ultimate objective of this. You were the one I said we'd be doing before the end of this episode. So, let us do our final thing for this episode. And this will bring us up to 30 shrines completed. Amazing progress. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Long or wide? The question we all must ask ourselves at some point in this world. So wait, what, do I do like that? And it goes, wonk! And it puts it in there. I don't understand the long or wide part of this yet. <laughs> uh, but that's that, I guess. That's probably just the tutorial there. Now you understand what this this shrine is about. Any chests hiding around? Around a nook, a corner, a cranny, perhaps? There might be. <laughs> what about in this corner here? Hmm. Smells like treasure to me. I dare say. The treasure is mocking us. Surely if you hit this thing with a, a hard enough swang, it would go even up that uh, uh, ramp there. Or not. I guess they want the box for a bit more force on that. Is that what this, this is what the idea we mean by long or wide? I did not mean to attach it to the ball. I meant to attach it to that, like that. And bring this whole shebang up here, and so it goes along with more power. Yeah, that's the idea. I gotta not miss this chest, though. I'm gonna walk right past it, I'm sure. I don't know what this is about. Oh, it probably drops the box back there if you, uh... If you throw it off the cliff by mistake, because that's probably uh, all that is. Just gotta be in this third room, because it would it's there's too much there's nothing everything's nondescript in these first two rooms. Ah, there it is. Um Oh, interesting indeed. So I guess the idea here is that uh we're gonna we're gonna bring this down here, it's gonna swing into that. And then it's gonna that's gonna make some kind of platform come out of here, and then with that, we attach this sideways to that, and then we'll stay on that platform, and it'll swing it up uh, across this way, or something like that. But that sounds silly, and I'm not doing it. Oh, this is on a slope, so I, I can't do what I was about to do. Never mind. Oh, sure I can. What am I talking about? Because you know what we can do in this game. <laughs> and then, because rails uh, have always have been good to us this episode so far, all we have to do is uh, stop that, get off the rail, and then... Ultra hand it uh, to go even farther along here. Like that. And then uh, hang around there for a bit, and then we'll be able to uh, get on it and recall it again. And while we're doing that, let's uh, drag this off of this and bring it to us. Ooh, it goes it's going a lot faster now. Let's just open this. A sneaky elixir? How fun! Okay, now stop that! And then now I gotta wait. Do it again, just so I have a moment to think here. Okay, no, no, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I guess I gotta get on this. Mm. Okay, now get over here before you slide too far. There we go. Goodbye, chest. And I'll hang out there for a moment. And I'll come over here. 
And recall. We can probably just walk on the rails at this point, but just to be safe. <laughs> we don't need the orb. It's fine. <laughs> we have magic. Long or wide? How about hand is magic? I win. <laughs> Thank you, statues. Goodbye and goodbye to you, my friends, because that is all the time we have for this episode. Fun though it absolutely was. I'm very excited to get down to the the beach and sort of rainforest front uh, this is the next episode. We are covering a lot of ground these past few episodes since that uh, we spent like eight episodes in the desert. I thought we'd never get out of there, even though it was fun to see Riju again and all that. And this here is Zora's Domain, so it seems like it'll still be a few episodes yet before we get quite that far, but we're we're not being super thorough. Like, there are definitely shrines we're missing in and around these areas because there's no way there. this is all the shrines that are here. So we're still leaving stuff for us to do later in the shrine hunt. But we're getting, like, a sampler of each area as we're covering around here, and uh, even Tida's Island is not that far away, so we may yet be getting that in, in the next uh, two episodes. I mean, it, it might just be that nothing's going on there in this game, but I'm I'm curious. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if they had done some kind of, like, redux or some kind of new challenge over there since it was such a big thing in the last game. But never mind it! That is all! Next video on the channel is going to be some more Pikmin 4, so look on out for that! Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! We'll get the resources after, friends. This, this is not the priority right now. We gotta get take this thing out before it spawns too many more of those. Um, and we know we can t bring down the boss pretty quickly, I think, so... I think we uh, ignore the small fry and focus the boss down for the moment. Just charge through any ones you can uh, on our way to its face, uh, Ochi. And you! Ah!